Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to discussing about the topic averages. Averages topic is very important uh, for all competitive examinations and uh, this topic is the basic and foremost important topic uh, in aptitude. Averages is the basic important topic in, uh, in aptitude uh, or else arithmetic. Why? Because uh, the applications, whatever the applications uh, we are learning in this uh, topic, that will be helpful for remaining chapters also. So we must learn uh, the this particular topic averages along with that uh, percentages and also ratios. These are also very important. Uh, as these topics are basic uh, chapters in uh, arithmetic, right? Uh, now, in this session, first we will discuss about the introduction part of uh, averages. And uh, before going to what is average, uh, I'll just uh, uh, explain that why we are calculating the average. That is a important point uh, we have to know about it uh, here. First of all, why we are finding the average is I will tell you one small example. Let us take an auto driver. Let us take uh, an auto, auto driver. Auto driver will not get the same amount daily. Let us suppose that on day one, on day one, he got uh, 100 rupees and day two, he got 200 rupees and day three, 300 rupees and uh, day 4 he got uh, 400 rupees right here an auto driver gets uh, on day 1 100 rupees day 2 200 day 3 300 and day 4 400 rupees suppose if we ask after 4 days uh, every day how much amount you are getting uh, if i ask that particular questions to this uh, auto driver then his answer will be 250 rupees his answer is 250 rupees he will say that daily i am earning 250 rupees he will not say that on first day i got 100 rupees second day 200 third day 300 he will not say in that manner why because he will say that on an average i am getting 250 rupees per day and how he is saying this value 250 that is total 4 days amount uh, he will calculate total 4 days amount is equal to 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 400 which is equal to 1000 4 days amount is equal to 1000 then 1 day amount is equal to 250 this 250 is called as uh, average this 250 is called as uh, average so first of all why we are finding the average is uh, in order to represent a particular value in order to represent a particular value we are finding the average in order to represent a particular value we are finding the average that is the reason and in general in general the formula for average is average is equal to the basic formula sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations in general the basic formula for average is sum of observations by number of observations and in this formula if you observe carefully here we have three different variables one is average one is sum of observations and third one is number of observations now if you want to calculate uh, any of the three out of three if you want to calculate uh, any of the three that is either average or sum of observations and number of observations that can be possible if you know any two variables suppose if you want to calculate sum of observations sum of observations is equal to average into number of observations average into number of observations suppose if you want to calculate number of observations if you want to calculate number of observations that is equal to sum of observations sum of observations whole divided by average in this way we can calculate any variable if you know 
out of three variables if you know any two variables it is very easy to calculate uh, third variable so average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations and sum of observations is equal to average into number of observations and number of observations is equal to sum of observations by average this is a brief introduction about uh, average now if you want to solve the problems related to averages if you want to solve the problems related to averages uh, only that particular formula is not sufficient along with that formula we need to learn certain basic uh, formulas uh, such as sum of sum of n natural numbers sum of n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 here sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 therefore average uh, its average average of that n natural numbers is equal to sum of n natural numbers that is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole divided by number of observations as we are talking about n natural numbers therefore obviously number of observations are n only therefore average becomes n and cancel that value is n plus 1 by 2 that value is n plus 1 by 2 sum of n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 whereas uh, average of n natural numbers is equal to n plus 1 by 2 and uh, second one sum of squares of sum of squares of n natural numbers sum of squares of n natural numbers that is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 whereas if you want to calculate the average of squares of n natural numbers which is equal to sum of squares of n natural numbers that is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 whole divided by number of observations again as we are talking about n natural numbers uh, uh, denominator value n observations this n this n both are cancelled therefore the required average becomes uh, n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 and uh, next one that is sum of cubes of sum of cubes of n natural numbers sum of cubes of n natural numbers that is equal to n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 or else you can also write this one as like this n into n plus 1 by 2 whole to the power of 2 whole to the power of 2 and uh, if you want to calculate the average average is equal to sum of cubes of n natural numbers that is n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 whole divided by n observations are there divided by n this n this n gets cancelled therefore the required average is n into n plus 1 whole square by 4 n into n plus 1 whole square by 4 that is the required average and after that we will discuss uh, some important uh, points that has to be remember in this averages that is average of average of odd numbers average of odd numbers from 1 to n average of odd numbers from 1 to n here 1 to n in the sense uh, here n is uh, either odd number or even number that value we don't know n is either odd number or else uh, even number right here as we are talking about the numbers from 1 to n from 1 to n will be having odd numbers as well as even numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to n or in all these numbers definitely we will get some 
uh, odd numbers also even numbers and the question is uh, what is the average of odd numbers from 1 to n odd numbers average of odd numbers from 1 to n is nothing but its required average is equal to last odd number last odd number plus 1 by 2 last odd number plus 1 by 2 suppose for example here let us take 1 to 10 1 to 10 find the average of odd numbers from 1 to 10 here from 1 to 10 the odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 9 1 3 5 7 9 here the average of all these numbers is 5 average of all these numbers is 5 here if you observe carefully last odd number from 1 to 10 that is 9 plus 1 by 2 9 plus 1 10 10 by 2 is equal to 5 you got the same result as that of this one so whenever the question is given in terms of uh, this format that is uh, if you want to calculate the average of odd numbers from 1 to n that is last odd number plus 1 by 2 and similarly the same concept is applicable for even numbers also average of even numbers average of even numbers from 1 to n average of even numbers from 1 to n that is last even number last even number plus 2 by 2 last even number plus 2 by 2 here also i will take the same example 1 to 10 here the numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 these are the numbers last here the average is 6 now according to this case last even number is 10 10 plus 2 by 2 which is equal to 6 we got the same result as that of uh, this value right so average of odd numbers from 1 to n is uh, last odd number plus 1 by 2 for even numbers last even number plus 2 by 2 whatever the value of uh, n irrespective of value of n you need to take last odd number and last even number for odd numbers plus 1 by 2 for even numbers plus 2 by 2 and one more concept here it is average of average of first n consecutive average of first n consecutive odd numbers first n consecutive odd numbers is dash here suppose for example i will take first five consecutive odd numbers first five consecutive in the sense you need to start with one here in this concept the word first is very important the word first is very important one three five seven nine what is the average of uh, these five numbers five let us take one more example one three five seven average of uh, these four numbers first four consecutive odd numbers that is four first five consecutive odd numbers that is five average of first three consecutive odd numbers that is three here if you observe carefully if you observe carefully for first five consecutive odd numbers average is five for first four consecutive odd numbers average is four for first three consecutive odd numbers average is three it means for first n consecutive odd numbers average is uh, n only here the value of uh, this particular average is uh, n average of first n consecutive odd numbers is n similarly the same concept is applicable for even numbers average of first n consecutive first n consecutive even numbers first n consecutive even numbers is n plus 1 is n plus 1 once check it out here how it is here n plus 1 for example i will take first four con three consecutive even numbers for first three consecutive even numbers average is 4 here next 2 4 6 8 
first four consecutive even numbers average is 5 next 2 4 6 8 10 average of first five consecutive even numbers that is 6 it means uh, here if you are taking uh, n observations the average is uh, n plus 1 that is the reason why here this value is n plus 1 for first n consecutive odd numbers the average is uh, n for first n consecutive even numbers the average is uh, n plus uh, 1 guys uh, i hope you enjoy the session in the next session we will discuss some more important points related to average topic thank you thank you very much for watching